I'm going to start this video off by saying one thing, and I want all of you guys to listen to this, and I want all you guys to listen to what I'm saying very carefully. I do not condone piracy, and I do not condone not paying for something you should pay for. Now, saying that, making this video, I am going to be showing how to get Quixel Mega Scans assets for free. Um, I very, very highly recommend against using these and using this way specifically for any kind of profitable purpose. If you're making money from any render or anything that you make from this, um, you shouldn't. Um, because Mega Scans is not very expensive for what you get, and you should just pay for it if you're making money anyway. But with that being said, uh, some people just want to make good looking art um, to just make, and a lot of times you can't do that. So, with that being said, time to actually get into this. So, hello everyone, my name is Mike from Polygon Island, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get Quixel Mega Scans or Quixel Mega Scan assets for free. So, if you're in the 3D art community in a serious way, then you probably know who or what Quixel is. Uh, Quixel and Quixel Megascans um, have a ton, a ton of high quality photo scan assets that you can use for your scenes. Um, and they're very useful for filling out scenes and making scenes around. Um, and they're just very good for that. So, here's how you do it. So, if you guys don't know, Quixel was bought by Epic Games a while back, and with that, Quixel basically has an agreement with Unreal Engine and Epic Games that Quixel Megascans and its entire library is free to use for Unreal Engine purposes. Now, you're not supposed to use these assets without Unreal Engine, but... I honestly don't see the difference in making a render in Unreal Engine and then making a render in Blender. So that's the only reason why I'm making this video, if that makes any kind of sense. So let me show you guys how to do this. Uh, basically, you just go to the Megascans website, which is quixel.com slash megascans. And you go up here to sign in. And if you don't have an Epic Games account, create an Epic Games account. And I'm pretty sure you don't have to link it with Quixel. Um, you should just be able to sign in with Epic Games. But uh, once you sign in with Epic Games, you can just sign in with your Epic Games account right here. And then once you click sign in, it will sign you in through Epic Games. And now you you have your account. Okay. Um, so once you're signed in with your Epic Games account, if you just sign in with a normal Quixel account that's not linked with Epic Games, you can't do this because it's for use with Epic Games and Unreal Engine only. Um, so you have to do that. You have to create an Epic Games account, or if you already have one, just sign in with it. But once you do that, you basically have the entire website to download and use as you want. So you can go to like 3D assets, and you have a ton of like different assets and stuff. Um, I'm just gonna download this one. Uh, you can go to download settings, and you have all these settings. You can change which uh, maps you want and stuff, which LODs you want, um, resolution of the textures. I'm just gonna change mine to 4K. Um, but once you have that, once you have your download settings, you can just close out of this and then click download. So once you have a download, you can just open it in WinRAR or just any kind of like zip archive or something. Um, and you have all these files. These are your files for the assets. Uh, you can just extract these to any folder. I'm pretty sure I have a yeah I have a Mega Scans folder on my desktop. So I can just click Mega Scans and then it'll extract it there. And then how to actually use it? You just go into Blender. Delete the default cube if you haven't already, um, and just go import um, whichever file type you downloaded, FBX, OBJ, whatever you downloaded. I downloaded mine in FBX, so I'm going to click FBX, and then just go to where your Megascans folder is or wherever you extracted it, and then choose one of the LODs. Uh, LOD 0, I believe, is the highest, or no, it's the lowest quality, I believe. Let me just make sure that real quick. Now, LOD 0 is the highest, LOD 5 is the lowest quality. So, um, if you're doing a big scene, I recommend like LOD 3 or whatever, because it's a mix of like low and high quality, and the textures really do a lot of work. So, once you have the actual asset in here, I know it looks pretty bad right now, but once it's textured and stuff, it'll look fine. 
So um, how you texture this is first I would recommend going to edit and then preferences, add-ons, and then typing in node wrangler. Uh, make sure node wrangler is on. This will make texturing a whole lot easier in general. And then just go to sh uh, shading at the top. Click your asset. Click on new right here. And then hit control shift T. This will bring up a principled or not a principled, it will um, a PBR texturing setup thing. Just go on a desktop wherever you saved it and you can have just pick all your stuff uh, UJ so I'm gonna pick these the principal texture setup and then it textures your object for you so uh, you don't have to UV unwrap it or anything all these assets are already UV unwrapped and ready to texture out of the box and once you do that uh, I'm just gonna go into cycles GPU just go into cycles and then maybe add a light. Add a light like right here. Change it to like 5,000. Change the size to like 5. And now you have your assets. So, yeah, uh, this is pretty much how you do it. Um, you can download any of the assets from the website. Um, like I said, I would highly recommend against using this for profitable purposes, but I can't really control what you do. Uh, I can just give my advice. Um, but yeah, that's how you get Quixel Megascans assets for free to use in Unreal Engine. Um, so thanks guys so much for watching. Hopefully this helped you guys out a little bit. Remember what I said at the beginning of the video, I'm not responsible for anything that happens to you if something does happen to you. But hopefully you guys learned something. Hopefully you guys can take this video how you want. My name is Michael from Polygon Island. I'll see you guys next time.